This is just for the guys, and it's a strange question. Were you conditioned to believe that you had to be the easy kid? Were you raised to believe that your feelings of sadness, of anger, frustration, of disappointment had to be invisible? You couldn't be a source of conflict. You couldn't be a source of needing or wanting anything uh, springing from what you wanted in life and what you were feeling. Well, it might have been just as significant as what is going on inside of one of your other siblings or what was going on inside of your sisters. You were conditioned to believe that what was going on inside of you had to be easy, didn't matter, was invisible. Were you conditioned that way? Now, the truth is we're all conditioned that way by societies as men to believe that our stuff inside doesn't matter, right? And so we're taught to stuff it all down. But that is really the easy answer and it doesn't explain it all because there are plenty of guys who grow up in homes where they're conditioned to believe by the mother and the father that getting out that anger, getting out the frustrations, the sadness and so forth is important. So then it can't be just the influence of society that we are most strongly conditioned by parents. And so then, it's not just that society taught you to be invisible, make your feelings invisible. It's that you were conditioned by a father who wasn't strong enough to stand against societal norms of what a boy should be, or wasn't smart enough to realize the long-term impact of allowing your son to buy into and live those societal norms. And or you were conditioned by a mother who was constantly fixing and therefore not listening to what was going on with you, just fixing your problems, or who couldn't, ha who couldn't handle what would happen inside of her when she wasn't controlling things outside of her. But something has gone wrong in the parenting. It's not just society, because there are people coming out of society, coming through society, men, who don't have the feeling that what goes on inside of them has to be invisible and doesn't matter. And so the question that gets raised to you is, what were you conditioned to believe about your feelings and is it possible that it was wrong? And that because you kept it all down, what happens? Young men, eventually, they don't express their feelings. They don't express their feelings. They build up, build up, build up. And then they finally, inside of them, feel so justified and it explodes. They don't feel justified expressing the small. They don't feel justified expressing the medium. It takes that build up and then the explosion where they their self is finally saying, no, my feelings matter. And they explode in anger. Has your response your entire life been anger? Your first response? Of course it has. Because it's not just that you have the buildup of all these feelings, but you've been conditioned to believe that your feelings don't matter, right? And we wonder why all the mass murderers are boys. Gee, I fucking wonder. It's always anger. Because what the child is fundamentally being taught is your feelings don't matter, you don't matter. Are you doing this in your parenting, and was it done to you? Have a kick-ass day.